and welcome to the Urban Herbalist YouTube channel. My name is Bonnie and today we're going to discuss essential oils and how to tell if you have a quality one or not. Uh, first and foremost, a couple of safety factors with essential oils. Never take essential oils internally and always dilute them if you're using them on your skin. And remember moderation. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing at times. So, with that being said, another thing I want to mention, when you see essential oils, you're going to often see them marketed as therapeutic grade. All that means is that it's 100% pure essential oil. That doesn't mean there's anything special about it. Either you have 100% natural essential oil, 100% pure essential oil, or you have not 100% pure essential oil. A lot of times you'll see essential oils mixed with fragrance oils, so you're going to want to keep an eye out. If you do see something that says therapeutic grade, that's an indication, but always check the label to make sure that you have 100% pure essential oil. Now what's prompting this video is I would go every now and then to the big box hobby store because I may need something for candle making or soap making. And in that aisle, I would see essential oils. And they would be very reasonably priced and there would be one that would always catch my eye and that is the rose essential oil. They're selling a half ounce, 100% pure rose essential oil for $5.99. And in my mind, I'm thinking, there is no way in hell that that's a decent rose essential oil or even a pure essential oil at that price. So this last time, a couple of days ago, I went into the big box hobby store and I thought, you know what, I'll buy it. I'll buy it this time and we'll, we'll see what we have here. And I compared it with, I get this brand that's actually a rose oil dilution with the more expensive oils like your rose, your jasmine, your neroli. You can, they're very expensive if you get the 100% pure, the absolutes. However, you can buy them in a dilution. This is a 5% dilution, which means it's 5% pure essential oil diluted with another ounce of jojoba oil. You still get the same great scent that you would expect. However, it is diluted, so it is a lot cheaper. And this dilution of rose would run me about 24, 25 bucks. So I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. Let, let, let's see what this 5.99 half ounce of rose essential oil actually is. So I bought it and I read the label, it said 100% pure rose essential oil. I went to the website, it said 100% pure rose essential oil. Now I do not have lab equipment to test, but I have a very experienced sniffer, having worked with essential oils for many, many years. So I can tell you when you got a good one or a bad one. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I also have my coffee grounds. When you're working with a lot of oils, this is your nasal palate cleanser. So I'm going to smell the coffee grounds to cleanse the nasal palate. Typical rose scent, but I would expect. Okay, the one thing I would say is being that this is 100% pure, I would expect it to be a lot stronger. But as far as quality, I don't smell anything chemically about it. It smells the same as that, but not as strong. I've had Rose Absolute and it is, it doesn't really smell like you'd expect the flower to smell because it is so concentrated. This does not have that smell, but it has that smell just stronger, a little stronger. So I would say this is not a bad oil. I don't smell anything chemical anything inorganic so I would say you know what if you want some rose essential oil and don't want to break the bank this isn't a bad oil so it got me to thinking if you can get reasonably priced rose essential oil at big box hobby store what are the Walmart oils like so I went to Walmart this morning and I picked up a few just so we can do a little experiment here we've got some cedarwood now I've got my tried and true oils that I've been using for years that I know are good quality. So we're gonna do a little comparison here. This is Guru Nanda, 
Got this at Walmart. This is cedarwood. And of course, my tried and true cedarwood that I've been using for years. Cleanse the nose palette. Smells like I expect it. Smells the same. Now cedar birds, I'm sorry, cedar wood is not a very expensive oil. And that's one thing I found when I was at the Walmart. They didn't have like very expensive oils. The next one is, we're gonna try some eucalyptus. Now I've got all the different kinds of eucalyptus here. I have the Better Homes and Gardens eucalyptus. I have the Mainstays eucalyptus. And I have the Guru Nanda. These three I picked up at Walmart this morning. This is my tried and true that I use in my products. Eucalyptus is a very inexpensive oil. It's good for your sinuses. However, it's a very strong oil. It smells like I would expect it to smell. That smells the same. tried and true. These all, I don't smell any difference in all four of these. And like I said, eucalyptus is not a very expensive oil. It's one that I would trust buying from any store. Now lavender. Lavender is a very common one. Everybody loves lavender. However, there's different kinds of lavender. It's not very expensive. It's not the cheapest oil, obviously, but it's not very expensive. You have your English lavender, you have your French lavender, you got your Bulgarian lavender, you got your Spike lavender, and I have lavender 4042, which is, it's a consistent lavender, which is used in my formulation to keep consistency in all of my products. And these both have the same scientific name, the Lavendula angustifolio. It's so another thing you wanna do is, when you're looking at oils, check for the scientific name. Familiarize yourself with the scientific names of the plants that you are getting essential oils, like eucalyptus globulus. You want to look for that in the scientific name on the label. Both of these have the Lavendula angustifolia. So let's cleanse our nasal palate. So I'll smell our standardized lavender 4042. See what our reasonably priced Walmart one. And they smell the same. I don't smell any differences. I don't smell anything inorganic. I don't smell anything chemically about it that would raise red flags. Now in shopping for oils, normally what raises red flags, number one is price. Which is why for many years, the rose oil, I didn't even bother because the price was way lower than I would have ever expected it to be. Because rose is one of the more expensive oils. So next we're gonna do the peppermint. We have my tried and true. We have the Guru Nanda. Ah, I knew, and a mainstays. Peppermint, there's different kinds of peppermint on the market as well. This is the scientific name Mentha Piperita. So, cleanse the nasal palate. Typical minty smell like I normally would smell. This one doesn't quite smell the same as this. There's a, a hint off. And this one smells the same as the main one. So again, this one, eh, not, I wouldn't say it's the best quality, but wouldn't say it's the worst. Alright, we're going to do the patchouli next. Now the thing with patchouli is there's two different types. There is dark patchouli, there's light patchouli. Most companies will tell you if it's a dark or a light. 
Walmart just tells you patchouli. There is a difference in the light and the dark. It's the same plant material, it's the same scientific name. The difference is in the distillation process and the materials used. The light patchouli oil is made with stainless steel equipment. The dark patchouli oil is made, it's distilled with iron in an iron pot. The difference is the light patchouli is a little bit sharper, the dark patchouli is a little bit earthier, muskier, richer scent. So I always prefer the dark patchouli, that's what I use, and that's what I'd say is the most common. It smells like I would expect it to smell. And this one, it smells like they use the dark patchouli to me. We got orange. Orange is another cheap, common essential oil. And they smell the same. Uh, next one, next one that's pretty common is a tea tree. We've got my tried and true tea tree. Walmart tea tree. Tea tree is another pretty strong one. And I have seen applications of tea tree where you can use it on athlete's foot and toe fungus. But these smell the same. Now in all fairness, I don't have any of the MLM more expensive oils to compare. I don't purchase those. I try to keep things affordable, and I'm sure you do too. So I don't have any of the MLM type more expensive oils to compare these against. But if you're experimenting with essential oils, I would say, in my opinion, don't shy away from the Walmart brands. When you have an oil you like, you might want to experiment with different brands to see if there's different quality ones out there you prefer. But if you're just beginning and want to get a sense and get a whole collection of oils, don't be afraid of the big box store or least expensive or lesser expensive oils. Again, you want to make sure that I would say definitely make sure you don't smell anything chemically about it. If don't smell anything inorganic and if you have a question about whether it's a good one or not, find another brand, purchase that one and compare the two and see which one you prefer. I want to thank you for watching. Please like share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about essential oils and don't forget your coffee to keep your nasal palate cleansed when you're working with many different oils. Thank you and have a blessed day.